Good afternoon, children. Your lunch? Yes. Ah, had your nap? No. No ah. No nap ah. Oh, but don't fall asleep afterwards. Okay. Thank you for coming here. We are so happy to see you here today. And uh, we believe uh, God is even more happy. To see his little, lovely children gathering here to get to know him better. Yeah? Okay, before we start, we want to introduce, introduce to you some new friends. And some who have not joined us for quite a long time. Okay, we have here with us our uh, Tong Ju Sin. Okay, the one, come, Tong Ju Sin. And then we have another new friend. Where are you? Where are you? We have another new friend. The one who came for the first time, Joel. Joel, where, Joel, where are you? Ah, come, come. Okay, we have one little girl and one small boy here. Okay, what's your name? Tell your, uh, tell, tell your friends your name. My name is Tong Zixin. Tong Zixin. How old are you, uh, Zixin? How old are you? Wu Zui. Wu Zui. Five years old, Wu Zui. Tong Zixin. Zixin is... Wu Sui, five years old, okay? Do you go to kindergarten? Yes. Actually, Jusin stays in Sungai Siput. Right, Koko? Ah, okay. Jusin stays in Sungai Siput. Okay. What's your name? Joel. Joel. Joel Chi Kai Chuan. Okay. Uh, jo Joel used to attend kindergarten here, but now he is in. What school are you in? Now, now, now. Lam. Ah, Poi Lam. Anybody from Poi Lam? Oh no, ah. Okay. Hey, you better go back to school, ah. You go back to school. You ask your friends to come to KKC. Then you have uh, friends from Poi Lam together with you in KKC. Okay. Oh, really hard. I know you just try, okay? Now, uh, and we also have um, two brothers who have not joined us for a long time. Uh, Lim Zhu Xian. Where are you, Zhu Xian? Come, Zhu Xian. Uh, Zhu Xian. Zhu Xian. Who is Zhu Xian? Oh, you are Zhu Xian. Okay. And Zhu Ting? Who is Zhu Ting? Oh, you are Zi Ting. So, Zi Xian and Zi Ting, they, they have not been coming here for a long time. But anyway, we still want to welcome them. Okay? Now, hey, shall we do our normal, vibrant KKC welcome cheer? Yay. Wait, 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 wait. Wake up, wake up. Stand up. Ah. Um, uh, don't be afraid now. Uh. We are high palm. Uh, we are welcome you in our vibrant, happy way. Okay? Now, are you ready? Don't talk to your friends. Don't talk to your friends. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, we welcome you. Okay, so come every week, yeah, yeah. Okay, come every week, huh? Okay. Now, uh, after that, uh, teacher will give you a small gift. Okay. 
Okay, before we start our praise and worship, shall we commit the time to the Lord? Okay, all eyes closed, yeah? Abba Father, we thank you, Father, for bringing all the little boys and girls here. We thank you for this time of get-together. Lord, help us to learn your word, help us to get closer to you. Lord, we commit the rest of the time into your hands. We pray all this in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. All God's children say? Amen. Amen. Okay, I pass the time to Auntie. Yeah. Auntie. Yeah. Meili. Yeah. Lucky they know my name. <laughs> okay, children. Auntie Ellen say the teacher are very happy to have you all come. I, I hope you are happy to be here. If you are happy and you want to praise the Lord, let's come to the front. Yay! You are the champion. Okay. <laughs> ah. Auntie Shirley very excited. Oh. <laughs> okay, we will sing our first song. Let us come together, okay? Let us come together to praise the Lord, shall we? sing the next song. Uh, can I wake up also? Okay, let's sing the next song. Have you ever imagined yourself as a butterfly? Or as a robin in the tree? Or as a fish in the sea? No, uh, so we sing this song and imagine, okay?
thank you, Lord, for my fuzzy wuzzy hair. If I were a dinosaur, I thank you, Lord, for my great roar. And I just thank you, Father, for making me, me. For you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Jesus and you made me a child. And I just thank you, Father, for making me, me. Chorus, for you gave me a heart. For you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Jesus and you made me a child. And I just thank you, Father, for making me, me. Okay, so children, God created us. You believe God created you? Huh? Huh? Yes, yes, God created all of us. And He gave us a heart, He gave us a smile, and most importantly, He gave us Jesus, and we are His children. So, we are made to praise Him, and we are made to worship Him. Yes? So, let's sing the next song. This next song is about praising God and glorifying Him, and that we were made to worship Him. Okay, let's sing this next song. Children, let's sing this next song. was made to praise you I was made to glorify your name in every circumstance to find a chance to I was made. I was made to praise you. I was made to glorify your name in every circumstance to find a chance to. One more time. Let's mean it with our hearts. I was made to praise you. I was made to glorify your name in every circumstance to find a chance to. close our eyes for a little while. Let's just pray to the Lord and thank the Lord for what He has done for us. Father God, indeed, we are so thankful, Lord, for what You have done for us. And Father, there's nothing else we want to do more than to praise You and to worship You. Lord, we pray, God, that our lives will be used uh, for Your glory. That, Father God, as You have made us to praise You, that our lives, with our lives, we will praise You and glorify You. Father God, we commit this time to You as the children uh, hear of your word, we pray, Lord, that they will learn uh, about you, more about you, and how much you love them. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
And all God's children say, Amen. Okay. I'm very happy today. Actually, I'm happy every day, but today I'm extra happy. Do you know why? Because I receive a wonderful gift. You like present or not? Yes. You like present, eh? Yeah, everybody likes present. I love present. But don't you think that this present is very nice? Yes, yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, eh? Wow. I want to see what is inside. Okay, okay. I, I let you have the honor of cutting it. Because I, 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 I'm too impatient to open the knot. You just cut it. You just I cut it. Ah. Woo! Oh, oh, yo! Ah, see, see, see. Wow! wow. Woo. So beautiful! Wow. So beautiful! So beautiful. Yeah, it's so nice. Zachary, you want to see or not? Come, come, come. Come. Come, show you, huh? Okay. Wow! It's ah, so nice. nice! Wow! So wow, nice! Beautiful. Very beautiful, beautiful. Anna. Beautiful, Anna. Beautiful. Handsome. Very handsome. Yes! Wow, so nice. So nice. Who wants to see? Wow, so many wants to see. Uh. Are you? Okay, come, come. Uh -uh. Yeah. Nice? Wow! Ah, it's so nice! Uh, Jaden, 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 uh, Jaden. Yeah. Wow. Wow! Wow! Wow, it's so nice. Uh, uh, come, come. Wow! Nice or not? Nice or not? Nice or not? Nice or not? Tell them, uh, yeah, okay. Are you curious? What is that? Actually, actually, this present, you have it at home. Uh, you have it at home. Everybody have it. Okay, I show you, huh? I show you, huh? Mirror. It's a mirror. Yeah. What do you see in the mirror? Yes, you see yourself in the mirror. Yes. Yeah? Ah, the mirror, you see yourself in the mirror. But maybe some of you uh, will say that, uh, hey, you look into the mirror and then you say, yeah, you are beautiful. So wonderful. Hey, yeah, so shameless one. Uh, huh? So shameless one. Self-praise is no praise. Yeah? No. When we see ourselves in the mirror, this is our, this should be our reaction. Don't you know that everyone is God's masterpiece? You know masterpiece? Ah, you know, masterpiece, uh, those art pieces drawn by the famous artists wow, are up for sale uh, for billions of dollars. Okay, when you look at yourself in the mirror, you should say, wonderful, beautiful. Because when you say that, you are praising God. Everyone is made by God. You know, God is our creator. He created us. Okay? So, everyone looks in the mirror and say, Oh, beautiful, wonderful. Thank you, Lord. Every day, thank you, Lord. Yeah? God, hey, nobody is... Uh, maybe some will say, hey, How can I say that? I'm so ugly. My eyes are not big enough. Oh, my eyes are so small, separate eyes. Uh. Uh, mong ching are not nice. Uh. 
No, in God's eyes, uh, whether your eyes are big, bigger than your mouth, uh, or your eyes are just one line, but God still thinks that you are beautiful. Why? Because He made you. Yeah? Because He made you. God knows you better than you know yourself. Hey, a few weeks ago, we learned that uh, God knows that the number of hair on your head, uh, you cannot count, but God knows. God doesn't need to count. He knows. He knows the number of hair on your head. Uh, he knows what's in here. Yeah? He knows what you can and cannot do. Uh, he knows. He knows better than anybody. He knows everything. He, because everyone is fearfully and wonderfully made. Everybody say, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Made by whom? Uh? Made by God. Uh, made by God. What is fearfully and wonderfully? Fearfully, when you do your artwork, uh, when you do something that needs attention, you will do it f with full attention. You will do it fearfully. Correct or not? Uh, you do it slowly. You won't chin chai chin chai do. Right or not, you won't simply do. You will do it slowly. Your, head, your, your craft uh, in school, you will do it stitch by stitch. You will draw slowly. In the line, you will mix the color nicely, properly. Right? When God made us, uh, it's more than that. Yeah? It's more than that. So everyone is made by God. Everyone is beautiful. Everyone is wonderful. And God made us, He gave us the ability. Understand or not? You don't say, I cannot do it. I cannot do it. I don't know how to do it. You ask God, God will help you. Uh, God will help you. I'm not pretty. No, God said, you are pretty because I made you. Alright? Alright? Uh, you are handsome because I made you. Hmm? Uh -huh. So don't listen. Uh, don't listen to the enemy. The enemy will tell you, hey, yeah, you cannot do anything. One, uh. Uh, you cannot run. You cannot do this. You cannot do that. Uh, you don't know how to do. You are not pretty. Nobody likes you. All these are lies. Uh, you must always remember, God made me. God made me in a wonderful way. I can do all things through God. Okay, who gave me the strength. Okay, yeah? but of course, you yourself must try your best. You cannot just sit there and say, Oh, God will give me the strength. God will uh, help me how to do it. No, you must try your best. Okay, you must try your best. In whatever that you do in school, at home, whatever, you do your best. And God will do the rest. Okay, so I pass the time to Auntie Peim. Okay. So listen, uh, listen. Uh. Okay, uh, look at uh, the, the video on, in Psalm 139, okay? God, you know me. You know everything about me. You know the exact moment I fall asleep and the exact moment I will awake. You know every step I take, even before I've taken it. 
You know every thought inside my head, even before I've thought it. You know every word I'm going to say, even before I've said it. There is nothing about me you do not know. There is nothing about me that surprises you. And God, you are everywhere. If I flew to the farthest star, you were there. If I swam to the bottom of the ocean, you were there. If I ran towards the setting sun, you were there. When the dark of night swallows me up, you are there. You are everywhere I am, everywhere I'll go, and everywhere I'm not. I am never alone. Even when I was inside my mother, yet to be born, you knew me. You knew me because you made me, every part of me. You formed my fingerprint, made special just for me. You knew my name before my parents knew whether I was a boy or a girl. You knew the day I'd be born. You know every day I'll live before I've lived even one day. God, you know me completely. Of Psalm 139, it says, God knows everything about me. He knows who I am and what I'll be. He sees me when I sit and when I stand. He holds me in His hand. He knows everything I think and even when I wink. He knows when I leave and when I return and knows all my concerns, all that you are worrying about. He knows every word I'll say and everything I'll pray. He is in front and in back. He always keeps track. He lays His hand upon me. Oh, how wonderful He can be. Okay, this is the first part of Psalm 139 in simple form. Okay, there's no way we could know God's power, knowledge and presence. He loves and cares for us individually. All of you know He loves every one of you. Okay, shall we learn, uh, do this song, say this, do this song? Uh, in the uh, tune of London Bridge, okay? God knows everything about me, about me, about me. God knows everything about me, about Auntie Peggy, okay? The, the uh, blank, you put your name, okay? Can or not? Okay? Let's try again, okay? God knows everything about me, about me, about me. God knows everything about me, about... Hey, no, no sound from the children one? <laughs> one more time, okay? God knows everything about me, about me, about me. God knows everything about me, about... Oh, much better. Very good. Okay. God knows everything about us. Okay. So God knows us. God is always with us. And God made us. Okay. See, in your mother's womb, in the secret place, God knitted you together. Okay. Fearfully, you are fearfully and wonderfully made in the secret place. Okay. You look at yourself, your skin, okay? Just imagine the one inch, one square inch of your skin. Uh, what, what do we have there actually? You know, we think, oh, skin only, ma. But actually there are 20 blood vessels, 65 muscles, 78 nerves, 78 senses for heat. So when you touch hot thing, <gasps> you can feel. 13 for cold, when you, oh, very cold. 60 for pressure, 650 sweat glands, so when it's hot, you will sweat. 1,300 nerve endings and 19 and a half million cells just in one square inch of skin only. So how intricate, how complicated actually you are, you know, how God made you so special. Okay, because God made us, we have value. Okay, what is that note there? Ah, 100 ringgit. Are we just worth 100 ringgit? Ah, 
much, much more, millions and millions. So cannot, no, we are actually priceless. There's no amount that can, we can pay for you. You are so, so valuable because God made you. And because God made us, we have a purpose, okay? You are not just here, boom, do nothing. Oh, you have a purpose here. You are unique. Just like Auntie Ellen said, you are a masterpiece. There's only one of you. You look around, any like you? Any exactly like you? No, yes or not. What man, what God made is unique, special, one of a kind. What about what man made? Just look at the chairs, okay? That's what man, man make. What man make? You can make many, many, many of the same kind. Right or not? You can factory produce millions and millions of the same kind. But you, you are unique. There's only one of you. Okay, you are unique in what, ter- no? what sense? You know? S-H-A-P-E. Okay, shape. Too easier to remember. Okay, we are unique in our spiritual gifts. God has blessed you with spiritual gifts. Okay, for instance, okay, Auntie Kim, blessed with being a pastor. Okay, oh, the purpose, her purpose here is to like a, like a shepherd, no, taking care of you all. Okay, when you are, you didn't come, uh, she will be so concerned. She will pray for you. She will like, visit you. She may call you up. When you get out of the wrong way, she may pull you back. No, tell, talk to you personally. Hey, no, no, do right. And look, Auntie Mao Jing. What's her spiritual gift? Wow. No? When she tells you Bible story, wow, you sit up, yes or not? Attentive. Wow. Because God has blessed her with this gift to teach you that you can understand. It's simple enough for you to understand. Okay? And then many teachers, especially like Uncle Andrew and Auntie Siu Ling, what well, they are, have the gift of service, right or not? To serve you. No? Sometimes you see the running here and there just to serve you. What about encouragement? Well, it's so important, yes or not? This gift of encouragement. So we need to, just like, let's say, if you uh, uh, tell Auntie Mei Li, wow, just now you led in the praise and worship, I was able to worship God. No, these words of encouragement can encourage someone else. Or let's say you have, haven't seen your friend for so long, and then your friend came for KKC. So you can say, wow, I'm so glad you came for KKC today. You can encourage. Or another gift could be uh, giving. You can give of your time or your money to bless others. H for heart. Okay? You, different people, God has given a heart for different things. Okay? Most of the teachers here, they have a heart for children. Okay? Some maybe have a heart for the uh, deaf and dumb. So they go and learn sign language to help them. Some have a heart for uh, old people. Okay? So maybe you can talk to old people and spend time with them. A, for ability. Okay. Um, we are so thankful, isn't it, for Auntie Shirlene, Auntie Fikun, Gloria, uh, Zachary. No? They, what are their abilities? Special ability. Ah, play musical instruments. Aren't you blessed? Or else, no? We will be, uh, Auntie Meili will just be singing a cappella, singing by herself. Okay? With the music, we are so blessed with their ability. So God has given you special ability we might, uh, that uh, you can bless others with. What about your birthday? When is your birthday? Do you enjoy? Do you enjoy the cakes that uh, you get when you? It's your birthday month. Yes or not? Ah, do you know who make all these cakes? Ah, see, with this ability, she has blessed us. Okay. What about P? P for personality. Okay? And Auntie Susan. Okay? Wow, when she leads the praise and worship, she's such a bubbly person. Yes, not? And then you are, you know, you enjoy the lively praise and worship. So that's her personality. Some are quiet. Okay? They can come to you and then maybe you can uh, share with them their, your uh, problems and things like that. They can minister to you. E for experiences. No, all of us have gone through different, different experiences. Okay? Some, some of them like, are happy, some are sad. No, if you have gone through some failure, if you failed in a test or um, some sickness, and, you know, and when you come through it, 
in future, God may use you to comfort those who go through the same thing. Okay? Those who haven't gone through, they won't understand. But those who have gone through, you have gone through, God may use you to reach out to these people. So, you have uniquely, God has made you to, for a purpose. Ah, because He made us, we are precious to Him. How, no, how, how precious are you? How precious do you think you are? How, how do you know? What did God do for us? Ah, Jesus died for you on the cross. You know, we all go through, uh, we all know that He was punished and all that. But do you realise when, you know, from uh, noon to three o'clock, the whole sky turned dark and then Jesus cried, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? No, the, the, Jesus had to you know, ask, Where are you, God? First time in history, you know, Father God had to turn away from His Son. Why? Because all the sin of the whole world was upon Jesus. First time that Jesus found, Oh, I'm alone. Why? Did, you know, God had to do that. Because He loved all of you. He loved all of you so much. He's willing to give His one and only Son for us. And so when we uh, accept Him, we become His child. That's what He wants, you know. He wants to be a father to you, okay? He wants to be your heavenly father. He's so, you are, that's why you are so precious. Okay, because God knows us and He's always with us. He made us. What should be our response? Okay, we should align with Him. Okay, that, the blue line, okay? We should, that's what will please God, okay? Let's say the arrow shows. But sometimes we go out. Okay? We get tangent. I'm so glad all of you are here for KKC today because you have kept the Sabbath holy. That's what God is so pleased with you. Okay? What about your prayer and your Bible reading? No, God wants to hear from you, wants to, uh, you to know the truth, for the truth will set you free. So if you get out of the way, no, come back to Him. Come back to where God wants you to be. Okay, also, He wants you to be open to Him, okay, to pray. Although He knows everything about you already, okay, but He, he still wants you to tell Him. And then it will help you actually when you share, share your heart with Him. And if, let's say, you have done wrong, you confess and turn away, change. Don't do what you have been doing that is wrong. Repent and you'll be forgiven. And you have the victory again. You have the joy again. And the, finally, how we, he wants to mold us to be like him, okay? Just like a jelly, okay? You turn out, there's a special pattern. So God wants us to be molded to be like Jesus, okay? Jesus being obedient to the Father. And when you uh, you see the fruit of the Spirit come out from you. Okay, thank you. Children, this memory was tell us that God created us. God, we are created by God handcraft. Children, you know in this world there's a billion of humans, but God created us with different personality and character. Even though we all have eyes and nose and mouth, but we are not all the same. Maybe my eyes is smaller than your eyes. God created everybody is different. Children, can we stand up? And give thanks to the God. Read one more time the memory verse. Stand up, children. One, two, three. I praise you because you make me in such a wonderful way. Psalm 139, verse 14. Okay, thank you, children. Good afternoon, children. What is the topic that we are doing today? That we have been? What is the topic? What is the main topic? Remember? With the mirror, I was made for you. We are created for a purpose. And all of us have a purpose. Okay, let's look here. What do you see here? What do I have in this bottle? We have water. I purposely colored it red so that you can see. 
So I have water here, yeah? I poured the water. And I want to transfer the water into this bowl. Yeah? I want to transfer the water into this bowl. So, which one do you think is the best tool to use? Okay, I will choose... I will choose chopstick. Yeah? Chopstick. Okay, do you think that I can transfer using chopstick? Can? Any water? Yes, I have water, but just trickling. Yeah? So, Ken, what do I use this for? Eating ramen. What else? Can I eat rice with this? Maybe can I eat rice? Huh? Can I? Maybe, huh? Okay. So, this one I cannot. Can I use? The chopstick to transfer water? Cannot, right? Okay, out. Cannot use. Okay, next, I will use a fork. Can I use a fork to transfer water? Okay, why not? We try and see, huh? Maybe can, huh? Eh? See, nah? Can. Can. Can, right? Can, right? Can, right? Can you see? I try one more time, huh? I try to transfer some water using a, the fork. Can what? Yeah? Can. But how long do I need to transfer this water into this bowl? From this bowl to this bowl? Can or not? Can. Can. Okay, how much do I have? So much, right? So I need another uh, 30 minutes? Can or not? Can someone transfer me for 30 minutes? Can we'll just wait. What do you use the, the fork for? For noodles. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Can I eat rice with this? Can I eat rice with this? Can. Eat rice. Can or not? Eat rice. Can. <laughs> Your mother will scold you. <laughs> Why are you eating so long? Huh? So is it is it possible to use to, this fork to transfer water? Possible, but not. Is it created for this purpose? No. no, we don't. We don't use fork to transfer water, right? When you want to drink soup, do you use a fork to drink soup? No. no. Okay. Lastly, I have a spoon. Yes. Okay. So, how fast can I use to transfer water? Okay, do I have a lot of water? But I cannot show you. <laughs> Pour, okay. I have so much. Yeah, it's only less than one minute. Yeah, I have so much water. So, all of us are created, are made for a purpose. Don't say that. I, uh, I, I, uh, my mother always say that. Say, say, no use are you. So is it the truth? No, all of us have a purpose. Okay, like Auntie Mao Ching, what is she good at? Bible uh, storytelling. What is she good at? She is a very caring person. Yeah? Okay, then we ask uh, Zachary, what are you good at? He is very good in playing drum. With a good rhythm, better than Auntie Fikun. <laughs> okay, all of us have a purpose. God created us, made us with a purpose. What is Jaden good at, Jaden? What are you good at, Jaden? You can run very fast. You can talk a lot. <laughs> talk a lot of good things, not nonsense. <laughs> Okay, all of us have been created and made for a purpose. Like Coco Andrew. Coco Andrew is good at what? Cameraman. Okay, <laughs> cameraman, which is also a purpose. Okay, how about Auntie Pei Im? Auntie Pei Im is very good in small things, gardening. She can plant huge trees. Correct or not? Yes, she has coconut tree in her house. She has banana tree in her house. Okay, what is Auntie Lily good at? 
Auntie Lily is good at baking. It's a prophecy. <laughs> she is picking it up. It's a prophecy. What is Auntie Ellen good at? Cooking, baking. Okay, so remember, what do you learn today from this lesson, from this object lesson? What do you learn? Yeah, 100 point for that. What are you, what, what is the main uh, lesson that you learn from this? We are made for a purpose. Okay, very good. Can you hear me? Okay, all right. Today, uh, we are going to end soon. But before we go back, we are going to do something interesting. Okay, you, you'll be getting a piece of paper like this. Okay, a colored paper. Alright, different colours. On it, you will draw out your palm. Okay, your palm, they are all unique and different. Huh? I'm sure all our palms are different. And especially your thumbprint. But of course, you do not need to put your thumbprint in the craft. Okay, after that, you just outline your hand. Okay, and you can write down there, Fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalms 139. Okay, just like that. Huh? You do not need to do any colouring. Okay, I've given you, I'm going to give each one of you five little stickers. Okay, it will turn out like this. Okay, you can put some nice stickers in many colours and or man, uh, many shapes. Okay, these are showing how precious and unique you are. In God's eyes, okay? You might have uh, short hair, long hair, no hair. Or you might be skinny, fat, or in the middle, okay? So anything that you're made, God has made you perfect, okay? So it is written there, you are fearfully and wonderfully made, okay? From Psalms 139. So you can split out into your groups as usual, one on the left, one on the right. We'll pass out the paper to you. The pants and then your stickers. Okay? Alright, thank you, children. <laughs>